Beyonce and Jay-Z's attorney slams Piers Morgan after a guest compared them to Sean Diddy Combs during an interview on Piers Morgan Uncensored. The couple's attorney issues a scathing response to an interview Piers Morgan held on his show with Jaguar Wright. Biggie died, Tupac died, and then there was the, the, the fight between who was the top rapper now, Nas and, and Jay-Z, and then the next thing you know, Nas has a nervous breakdown and he's taken out of the game and then it's all Jay-Z. It's all Jay-Z. It's all Jay-Z. And he was working with R. Kelly and they were making so many records together. You know, they made all of those records together. They both, Dalia, they shared so much in common. Jay-Z might just be the next major name in the spotlight with talk swirling about a potential raid due to allegations dating back over 20 years. The rap mogul is being accused of having inappropriate relationships with underage individuals during this time, and the rumors are buzzing louder than ever. What's making this even more wild is the fact that these whispers come right on the heels of the Diddy scandal. What about the people that are saying Jay-Z is next? Mmm. Yeah, but I have been hearing that a lot. Um, I feel like your girl Jaguar Wright might have been one of the first to really put his name out there. Um, I don't know enough. You know, I, I, I will say that Jay-Z, if he was doing ill shit like that, he was more quiet about it. You know what I mean? He was more, but then... If we be real with ourselves, it was kind of abnormal when he got with Beyonce. Like she was pretty young when he got with her. Um, there's rumors that he was messing with Foxy Brown when she was pretty young. Um, you know, um, so there's a lot of those rumors around. You know what I mean? I don't, you know. Yeah. And and do you hear little things here and there? You know, I'm not going to lie. When certain people get to a certain level of fame, I don't know why, but you start to hear little sh about certain people sometimes. And I don't know if how many people are really exempt from it. Because if you really think about most of your top celebrities black celebrities rappers i feel like the ones that are at the top for a long time i feel like i've heard a rumor damn near about all of them not that i've seen anything but it's always these top motherfuckers now some people will say oh well that's just a hating it could be or it could be that motherfuckers got to join a club in order to get to a certain level i don't know I'm not in the club, so I wouldn't know. But it's just a little weird that every everybody that goes past a certain point, you'll hear a little. And these be these be behind the scenes rumors too. This is not just internet. Shit. This be shit before the internet existed. You understand? Because it's easy for some shit to fly around now with the internet, but a lot of this shit was pre-internet. And that and, and 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 it was getting around, you see. So mm, makes it a little different. It still could be some bullshit, but I'm just saying, some of these rumors been around about people for a long time. You've been hearing little things about them, and have I heard little shit about Jay Z? Yup. Do I think that he's trying to um, emulate? Uh, emulate himself and present himself as a gay painter like to look like Basquiat yep I do I think 50 Cent was right about that I think that's a code a code to especially to white people that he's approachable he's cultured but Basquiat was also bisexual so is that a code that you're trying to tell these white people too by trying to 
emulate this guy? I don't know. I don't know, but it doesn't look good. Why do people have such a uh, such an affinity for Basquiat anyway? I think it's trash. Let me just put it out there. I don't think that Basquiat's art is fucking all brilliant the way they claim it is. It looks like bullshit to me. It's some shit that white people would like. It's not some shit that black people look at and be like, oh my God, that is so impressive. He ran with Andy weirdos like Andy Warhol and Keith Herring. They tried to call Keith Herring shit graffiti back in the days. I hated Keith Herring's art. It was crap. It was, that was not graffiti. That was a white dude from the village who was inspired by graffiti, who started doing some shit. And of, because he's white, now he can go to galleries and sell this shit for fucking $50,000. And then you got real blacks and, and, and yes, Puerto Ricans, you know, and even some poor white people that were doing graffiti uptown on the trains and shit like that. And they couldn't get no money for this, you know? And this was way more uh, technical and, you know what I mean? And and, and and makes you feel something and, and really aligned itself with hip hop. Um, but all of that shit, Keith Herring, Basquiat, Andy Warhol with soup cans, get the fuck out of here. That was some shit where they gamed the people into believing that some bullshit was something special. And Jay-Z was one of the first ones, I think, to really talk about Basquiat. And it's like, why? And you make a song about Tom Ford. That's, a, that's another homosexual designer. What is this all about? Like, I don't know when heterosexuals started bigging up homosexuals, starting trying to dress like them, do their hair like them, and making songs about them. I'm just saying. You know, and, and Jay-Z, I, I, I like Jay-Z. I think he's a dope rapper, dope businessman. He used to be my neighbor. We lived in the same building, 560 State Street. Um, but that being said, I'm just telling you what I know and what I've observed. Tom Ford gay? I believe so. Am I am I wrong? We, no, I mean, you may, hey, I don't. Yeah, I believe All I so. know yes, is, sir. is, I'm keeping it real. I own some of his cologne, but I don't know much about mm. it. I just like the smell, so I didn't know. Yeah, I mean, maybe you don't want to. <laughs> maybe you want to go with something else, sir. That Creed Aventus. The situation gained even more traction recently when Foxy Brown, a former collaborator of Jay-Z, found herself at the center of the controversy. People have been speculating that she might have been involved with Hav when she was just 16, and that an NDA, non-disclosure agreement she allegedly signed would be up in 2025, allowing her to finally spill all the tea, but Foxy clapped back hard calling all the chatter about her testifying against Jay fake news, you see, and even went on Instagram to set the record straight. Oh, da, 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 da. That all happened a day before the report about the nine-year-old boy was released. And before people started confirming that the video that was being shopped around was Bieber and Diddy. See, that's the problem with running your mouth, Vlad. That's the problem. You, you didn't realize on Monday that every word that you said was gonna be invalidated on Tuesday. See, that's what happens when you're a liar. See, I didn't have to worry about what I said on Monday. Because I knew what I said on Monday was going to hold up on Wednesday. The truth needs no support, just time and room. Why do you think Vlad has been allowed to take root in our culture and be able to do as many things as he's been able to do? I believe in my opinion, that he is an information, a disinformation agent. I think the reason why it's hard for anyone to attach him to any American agency is because he isn't a part of any American agency. 
I have reason to believe that he is Mossad. Mm. Israeli intelligence background. I mean, you were born in that region, or at least your people come from that region. Mm. You marry a black woman, you know, get you a little black sympathy, get into the culture a little bit, act like you want to make black people famous and you care about this and that. I remember when you started, Vlad. You want to know what was funny? A friend of mine that worked for Homeland Security told me to never sit with you because this isn't the first time you reached out to me, Vlad. You reached out to me in 2008. After me and Mr. Carter had a very, very, very unfortunate incident. Your life is about as, um, and, and your background, it's, it, it, it's about as easily tracked as Barack Obama's. That's pretty tracked. Yeah. Like there, there's something very wrong with you. And not only that, Let's look at the list of essay predators you're involved with in business currently. You're being um, championed as a friend by the Comet Report, who was thrown off of radio for threatening to assault S.A., a four-year-old child. His partner, I know for a fact, committed statutory essay. And I feel bad because I talked that girl out of filing her report like she wanted to with the police. Cause you told me you were she was she was a liar, buck. You you told me all of that. Like the both of y'all got some weird history. And then, Vlad. You do a podcast with a Hollywood plant who was convicted of child grooming and essay and all of that. And his name is Aries Spears. You get the pervert, pervert, pervert. You get birds of a feather flock together. And then D.L. Hughley, you, you have him as a running guy on your show. And everybody knows what Monique told us all about how he let his friend essay his daughter and refused to believe his daughter until the money ran out. And then all of a sudden you found something wrong with it. Like everyone in your orbit, Vlad, is a weirdo. And you're white. You, you, you don't even look remotely hip hop. Nigga, you look like you should have like done the reprisal for Fiddler on the Roof. You act like that running around from tin rooftop to tin rooftop playing your little weirdo music. You know, that was based, um, that whole movie, The Fiddler on the Roof, that came out of Eastern Europe right on the edge of Russia, where your people are from, where Mossad is very involved. And considering everything that's going on with the Israelis right now and the war and the this and the that, you know, seems like you will be more interested in that. Like Mina, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher were before Ashton and his ditty partying became a set. Like there's a lot of stuff that's government based going on. You got Ashton Kutcher in love with Mina Ku Mila Kunis on, on that 70s show. Then they break up for absolutely no reason after he starts hanging out with Diddy. Then he marries Demi Moore, who drained him of all the adrenochrome she can. And apparently he replenished himself by doing inappropriate things with their daughters. I'm glad. I I'm sure you're glad. Like Bruce Willis has dementia right now. Oh, now Demi Moore has a a wild movie out. Um, I forgot what it's called, but uh, I'll Google it. 
Yeah, the substance. Uh, he went right back to Mila, though. He, he went Adrian. right back to where he wanted to be. You know, age appropriate. Not even age appropriate. Was that your Illuminati assignment? And then there's the Danny Masterson connection too. Who Vlad, if I am correct, and Ashton Kutcher both vouch for. These are weird people. So Jay, let me ask you. Um, uh, the, the question is, oh, is how does Vlad make it on to Pierce Morgan and none of his very nefarious comes up? You're being promoted by child pedo people. You're doing business with child pedo people. You are co-signing child pedo people and you're not one. That's weird. That, that, that's just weird. You're weird. Do you think they asked Vlad before he came on, what is his thoughts on you before they put him on? I'm sure they checked. So, but the thing is, is, is this, TV. the only it, it's great TV. I, like I said, I thought it was brilliant. But the thing is, is the only way that he could have been cloaked from a vetting team as fierce as Pierce Morgan's is if he was being covered by a government. So what are your thoughts on Ariel then? Uh, she comes on last as a lawyer for one of the Diddy accusers. She actually backs your she actually. Hey, yeah, she, she corroborated the fact that she saw the very videotapes that I said were about to be sold right here on this couch just a couple months ago. Why is everyone so late? Don't want to believe? I sat right here and told y'all there was activity on the dark net. Videos were being distributed and were going to be sold for profit because the diddler needs the money. Did I not say that? Said that. Right here. Yes. Say and now we got a lawyer who has seen it. But I ain't got no receipts. Okay. You, you know what my receipt is? Reality and time. You, um, I watched a, a video of a of, of an interview of a Justin Bieber, and he was talking about Billie Eilish, mm. and he was like, he was broke, almost in tears. He's like, I just want to protect her, I just want to keep her safe. Yeah. Um. What it what what do you think he went through? Where because he, feels he knows like, what's been happening to Billy. Just like everybody knew what was happening to Millie, Bobby Brown, girl, with Drake. These people are monsters. <laughs> uh, uh, before we, you notice, Billie Eilish's career has slowed down a little bit. Yeah. Why? She had that Bond movie song. She was doing something. I, we, we sit here and we say we need to put Lizzo on a milk car and then a couple months later, she's working out at the gym. <laughs> Talking about she's taking time to lose weight and get her life together. You know who else has been trying to lose weight and get their life together? Oprah Winfrey. Um, you wanna know what's wild? Ozempic? I mean, hey, Ozempic. Yeah, listen to me. I don't know. I don't know why they give it names. They should just call it what it is: constant diarrhea. She made it real clear that nobody could pay her enough to throw shade at Jay, and she's shutting down anyone thinking they could use her to bring him down. The question is: Are these allegations enough for the authorities to swoop in on Jay like they've done with Diddy? Because let's be real: once one scandal breaks in the entertainment world, it's a domino effect. With Jay's name already being dragged into some older controversies about underage relationships, folks are wondering if the law is about to come knocking at his door next. Stay tuned, because with the history behind these rumors and all the legal mess surrounding them, things might get even messier for Jay-Z soon. This could turn into another courtroom drama if things unfold the way many are speculating.